Hi, this is another CMC Markets chart update. Um, today, just wanted to have a look at gold. Uh, we've seen a massive drop off uh, just since this time last week. Uh, we've been we've we've seen a maximum drawdown in gold of about forty dollars an ounce, so a big drop down. So I just want to kind of work through the chart as I'm seeing it, um, and uh, work out where we could possibly go from here. Um, so just sort of looking back a little bit, we obviously had that big run higher. We put in this peak here, which is why I've left this line in around the 1285 mark. We tried to push above it, but we had two long-tailed candles, uh, two shooting star patterns really, um, up above that previous peak, failed to make any headway. And so as it turned out, what we got really was a, um, we, we, we basically turned into a channel. Because that, the, the, where, the, where the market paused here after that failed breakout, was actually really equidistant with where these two lines were here. So we've been in this channel, uh, but the trouble is, as of yesterday, we've broken through the bottom of that channel after a big move lower on, on Tuesday. So the question is now, where do we find ourselves? Because this 1224 type area was, was basically support from these previous lows back in April 3rd, but we've taken out those supports, but it's been a false break for now. So we're below the channel we're also below a, a triangle pattern which was we've also seen a, a false breakout from so this these these pink trend lines here capitalize this this is the breakout for the triangle pattern failed went back inside the the triangle pattern and now we're beneath it so these are all fairly bearish signs for for gold basically momentum very much shifting to the downside that really happened the big the big move when gold lost its emphasis was on uh, the 18th of May when we saw this big drop down through this short term triangle pattern and, and back into the, the body of this, this failed triangle pattern. Um, so now that we're on the underside of it, we're obviously coming down towards the bottom of this consolidation area. So while it looks like momentum has turned lower, we could still find some support as we approach down to this 1208 level, which is the lows that we put in uh, at the end of March and the beginning of April. So possibility here is that this little hammer pattern at the bottom, maybe that's marked a low just with a false break below this triangle on the bottom side just like we had on the top side. But my suspicion is maybe there's going to be some more interested buyers down at the 1208 type area based on those lows. But nonetheless, I think even though we're still above the 200 day moving average, it very much looks like momentum has shifted. Now, my main judgment on that momentum is based on the RSI and you can see that we had a fairly clear-cut rising trend line in RSI, but we dropped through it categorically on that 18th of May big down day, and we, that took us below 50. So really momentum to the downside now. And recent history would suggest that when we get a big turn down lower in gold, we actually need to head into over oversold territory in order to actually get some more substantial buying interest. So it looks like even though we, maybe we could get a rebound near the 40 area in RSI, around current levels near the bottom of this range, that may not be the end of it. So it looks like the um, the trend has started to accelerate to the downside, but you probably can't be so confident of an outright downtrend until we get below 1190. So that's it. That's my reading of the uh, the gold chart at the moment. Really, a pretty strong bearish uh, bearish shift, but heading into some significant support levels from 1124, uh, 1224 where we are now, down to the uh, the 1207 mark. Uh, they could be critical, um, but still it looks like the momentum based on the RSI is tilted to the downside. Thank you very much and good luck with trading.